Rail transport in India began during the early 19th century. 1832–1852, Industrial Railway Topic India's first railway proposals were made in Madras in 1832. The Red Hill Railway, the country's first train, ran from Red Hills to Chintadrapit Bridge in Madras in 1837. It was hauled by a rotary steam engine locomotive manufactured by William Avery. Built by Arthur Cotton, the railway was primarily used to transport granite stone for road building work in Madras. In 1845, the Godavari Dam construction railway was built at Dalswaram in Rajamundri. Also built by Cotton, it supplied stone for the construction of a dam over the Godavari River. On 8 May 1845, the Madras Railway was incorporated, followed that year by the East India Railway. On 1 August 1849, the Great Indian Peninsula Railway was incorporated by an Act of Parliament. The guarantee system, providing free land and a guaranteed 5% rate of return to private British companies willing to build railways, was finalised on 17 August 1849. In 1851, the Solana Aqueduct Railway was built in Roorkee. It was hauled by the Thomason Steam Locomotive, named after a British officer in charge of that name. The railway transported construction materials for an aqueduct over the Solana River. In 1852, the Madras Guaranteed Railway Company was incorporated. 1853–1924, Passenger Railways and Expansion Topic The country's first passenger train, which ran between Bombay's Bori Bunder Station and Thane on 16 April 1853, was dedicated by Lord Dalhousie. The 14-carriage train was hauled by three steam locomotives, the Sahib, Sindh, and Sultan. Travelling 34 kilometres 21 miles, the train carried 400 people. The passenger line was built and operated by the Great Indian Peninsula Railway GIPR. It was built in 1,676 mm 5 feet 6 in broad gauge, which became the country's standard for railways. The first passenger train in eastern India ran from Howrah near Calcutta to Hooghly, a distance of 24 miles 39 km, on 15 August 1854. The line was built and operated by the East Indian Railway Company In May 1854, the bombay Thane line was extended to Kalyan with the Dapuri Viaduct over the Ulhas River India's first railway bridge. That year, the GIPR opened its first workshops in Baikala. In 1855, the BB and CI Railway was incorporated. That August, the Iyer Express and Ferry Queen steam locomotives were introduced. South India's first passenger train ran from Royapuram Vayasarapati, Madras, to Walaja Road in Arcot, a distance of 60 miles (97 kilometers) on the 1st of July 1856. It was built and operated by the Madras Railway. The Madras Railway's first workshop opened in Perambur near Madras that year, and the bombay Thane line was extended to Kapoli. In 1858, the Eastern Bengal Railway was incorporated. India's first tramway, a horse-drawn tramway, opened in Calcutta between Silda and Armenian Ghat Street, a distance of 3.8 kilometers (2.4 miles) on the 24th of February 1873. The following year, the Great South Indian and Carnatic Railways merged to form the South Indian Railway Company. On 9 May 1874, a horse-drawn tramway began operation in Bombay between Kalaba and Peril. The Calcutta Tramways Company was incorporated in 1880, followed a decade later by the East Coast State Railway. Lighting in passenger coaches was introduced by many railway companies in 1897. In 1902, the Jodhpur Railway was the first to introduce electric lighting as standard fixtures. Electric signal lighting was introduced between Dadar and Curry Road in Bombay in 1920. Railway maps of India 1925-1950, to electrification and further expansion topic The first railway budget was presented in 1925. On 3 February 1925, the first electric passenger train in India ran between Victoria Terminus VT and Kurla on 1,500 volts DC overhead traction. Camel Laird and Yerdingenwagen Fabric manufactured the locomotives for this train. The VT Bandra section was electrified with an elevated platform at Sandhurst Road. The OUDH and Rohilkand Railway was merged with the IR. The first railway budget was presented in the same year. In 1926, the Kurla Kalyan section was electrified with 1,500 volts DC. 
Electrification to Pune and Igapuri both 1,500 volts DC over the Bor and Thal Ghats was also completed, and the Sharba railway station in Lucknow was built that year. The Bandra Veerar section was electrified with 1,500 volts DC in January 1928. The Frontier Mail made its inaugural run between Bombay VT and Peshawar in 1928. The country S first automatic color light signals became operational on GIPR S lines between Bombay VT and Baikala. In 1928, the Kanpur Central and Lucknow stations opened. The Grand Trunk Express began running between Peshawar and Mangalore. The Punjab Limited Express began running between Mumbai and Lahore, and automatic color light signaling was extended to the Baikala Kurla section the following year. On 1 June 1930, the Deccan Queen began service hauled by a WCP-1. Number 20,024, old number EA, 14006 with seven coaches on the GIPR's electrified route from Bombay VT to Pune The Hyderabad Godavari Valley Railway was merged into Nizam's state railway and the route of the Grand Trunk Express was changed to Delhi Madras that year. 1951–1983, Zonal Reorganization and Further Developments The reorganization of railways in India into regional zones began in 1951. On 14 April of that year, the Southern Railway Zone was created. On 5 November, the Central and Western Railway Zones were created. That year, the post of Chief Commissioner of Railways was abolished and the Railway Board adopted the practice of making its senior most member the chairman of the board. The Government of West Bengal also entered into an agreement with the Calcutta Tramways Company to take over its administrative functions that year. The Northern, Eastern and Northeastern Railway Zones were created on 14 April 1952. Fans and lights were mandated for all compartments in all classes of passenger accommodations in 1952, and sleeping accommodations were introduced in coaches. On 1 August 1955, the Southeastern Zone was split off from the Eastern Railway Zone. A divisional system of administration was established for the zones in 1956, and the first fully air-conditioned train was introduced between Howrah and Delhi. In 1957, after successful trials in France, SNCF proposed 25 kV AC electrification for India's railways. Indian Railways decided to adopt 25 kV AC electrification, choosing SNCF as a technical consultant. The main line electrification project which later became the railway electrification project and, still later, the Central Organization for Railway Electrification was established that year. In 1958, the Northeast Frontier Railway Zone split off from the Northeastern Zone. In 1959, Raj Karswan to Dongoposi was the first section electrified with 25 kV AC traction. The first scheduled train using 25 kV AC traction ran on the Raj Karswan Dongoposi section on the 11th of August 1960. The first containerized freight service began between Bombay and Ahmedabad in 1966, and 25 kV AC electrification of several suburban tracks around Delhi, Madras and Calcutta was completed. In 1979, the main line electrification project became the Central Organization for Railway Electrification Corps. Topic: 1984 present, rapid transit and later developments. Topic: India S first metro train ran from Esplanade to Bowanapur now the Nataji Bawan station in Calcutta on the 24th of October 1984 and the Calcutta Metro was the country S first rapid transit line in 1986 computerized ticketing and reservations were introduced in New Delhi the Shatabdi Express, India's fastest train, was introduced between New Delhi and Jhansi in 1988. The line was later extended to Bhopal. In 1990, the first self-printing ticket machine SPTM was introduced in New Delhi. Air-conditioned, three-tier coaches and a sleeper class separate from second class were introduced in 1993. On 16 January 1995, the first regularly scheduled service with 2 by 25 kV traction began on the Bina Katni line. 
In September 1996, the concert system of computerized reservations began in New Delhi, Mumbai and Chennai. In 1998, coupon validating machines CVMs were introduced at Mumbai CST. The concert system became operational nationwide on the 18th of April 1999. The South East Central Railway Zone was established and credit cards were accepted for tickets and reservations at some stations that year. In February 2000, the Indian Railways website went online. On 6 July 2002, the East Coast, South Western, South East Central, North Central and West Central Railway zones were created. Indian Railways IR began online train reservations and ticketing on 3 August of that year, with internet ticketing extended to many cities on 1 December. On 5 February 2012, the Western Railway Zone WR ended its use of 1,500 volts DC traction, switching to 25 kV AC traction. The TACAL system of ticketing was extended to all trains on 26 September 2013. Gatamon Express, India S fastest train with a maximum speed of 160 km per hour, made its maiden journey from Delhi to Agra on 5 April 2016. The Central Railway Zone CR ended its use of DC traction in the Mumbai area and on the country's main line rail network, switching to 25 kV AC traction on of April of that year. On 31 March 2017, IR announced that India's entire rail network would be electrified by 2022. See also Topic. Rail transport in India Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. History of the Indian Railways in Chronological Order. IRFC Server. Indian Railways Fan Club. Retrieved 21 October 2007. Roy Choudhury, S. 2004. A Chronological History of India's Railways. Retrieved 21 October 2007. Rail Enquiry.